How you guys doing again today? I, Dr. YouTube Tucker here. I wanted you to bring out uh, Anonymous. Uh, Anonymous is latest. and releasing personal information about dozens of local officers. A hacktivist group threatened Cincinnati police officers after last week's shooting of Paul Gaston. The group has posted personal information online, including home addresses of Cincinnati police officers, as part of a protest. Local 12's Joe Webb has been following this story. He joins us now live from the newsroom with more on the allegations this group is making. Joe? Well, Cammie, this is the video posted by Anonymous and Non-Verdict, a hacktivist group. They also posted, as you said, personal information on police officers, 52 Cincinnati police officers, including the names of family members, phone numbers, home addresses. Greetings, world. We are Anonymous and Non-Verdict. The hacktivist group posted a video from cell phones claiming Paul Gaston was shot with his hands up, not reaching for his waistband like the video shown by Cincinnati police the next day. The group then makes a direct threat to police. Well, we have a message to not only the Cincinnati Police Department, but to every law enforcement officer. When you murder a human being, when you have other choices of containing the suspect available, we will make your officer's information public record. The group posted links to data dumps that were quickly removed but back up this afternoon. The first name on their list, Chief Elliot Isaac. Police don't know if the hacktivists hacked into records or accessed the information using public records, but they are out there. Police are aware and exercising caution, but not panicking. They want to see us really concerned and really upset. I'm not going to tell you there's not concern. Anonymous and non-verdict compared Gaston's shooting to another police encounter last week, asking... How does one man point a fake pistol at a cop and live while another man doesn't but is killed execution style? They're referring to an arrest in Mount Healthy last Wednesday. That man had a toy gun clearly marked as a toy gun and never directly pointed it at police officers. He was tased, subdued, and charged with menacing. Huh? Police say it was a different situation did it again. in a different department. The Cincinnati incident, the gun was concealed on the person's uh, uh, body. Uh, the officers couldn't see the whole weapon. They didn't have time to really assess it. Now, the situation is being investigated by CPD's intelligence unit. They are not sure if there was a data breach. Now, Anonymous and non-verdict said they will do this again in similar situations, and they will release as much information as they see fit. separate cell phone clips of Cincinnati Police Department murdering a black man named Paul Gaston while he held his hands up on February 17th. A man is shot dead by the police. People driving home from work capturing the drama on their cell phones from at least three different angles. Get on your face right now. Please do it. What, 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 the weapon turned out to be an airsoft pellet. With the evidence provided, it is quite obvious that he was complying and had his hands in the air. Just a day before this shooting in the Cincinnati metropolitan area, this man was accused of pointing this replica at police. He lived, but John Crawford tamed the rice, and now Paul Gaston didn't. does one man point a fake pistol at a cop and live while another man doesn't, but is killed execution style? For far too long we have said idle by letting the gang known as the Thin Blue Line murder citizens of United States without allowing them due process. Well we have a message to not only the Cincinnati Police Department but to every law enforcement officer. When you murder a human being, when you have other choices of containing your suspect available, we will make your officer's information a public record. We will data dump as many officers as we see fit for each situation. We will not only release the officer who murdered the citizen's information, but we will release those that have stood by in the department that did not speak up. We have lost more lives to the Thin Blue Line than we have lost in the Afghanistan War. Thin Blue Line, your game is over. You lost. 
While we release your officers' information, we will hold no responsibility of the actions of those that see the information. The data dump will be in the description as well on our Twitter at anon underscore verdict. You can also follow updates on this and other dumps by searching hashtag a gift from police. We are the judge and the jury. We are anonymous and non-verdict. Cincinnati Police Department, you should have expected this. We are not. All right, guys, I just thought uh show you how it released the information of that, guys. So like and subscribe to my channel and see what else is going on. Later, guys.